Abba Father, the book of Malachi, chapter 2. And now, O oh you priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and you, if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you. And I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because you do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed, and spread dung up on your faces, even the dung of your solemn feasts, and one shall take you away with it. And you shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave it to them, gave it them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me and was afraid before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth and inequity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity and did turn many away from inequity. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But you are departed out of the way. You have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as you have not kept my ways but have been partial in the law. Have we not all one Father? Have not one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously, every man against his brother, by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Judah have dealt treacherously and an abomination is committed in Israel and in the earth and in Jerusalem. For Judah has profaned the holiness of the Lord which he loved and has married the daughter of a strange God. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacles of Jacob and him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. And this have you done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, insomuch that he regardeth not the offering any more, or receiveth it with good will at your hand. Yet you say, Wherefore, because the Lord has been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. And did not he make one? Yet had the residue of the Spirit, and wherefore one, he might seek a godly seed. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously. You have wearied the Lord with your words. Yet you say, Wherein have we wearied him? When you say, Everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delighteth in them. Or, Where is the God of judgment? Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord God Almighty, whom you seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. 
But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord of the light an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem and the planet earth be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old and as in former years. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling and his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from mine ordinances, and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But you said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings? You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now, herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for you shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet you say, What have we spoken so much against thee? You have said, It is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinances, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? Now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. Then they that feared the Lord spoke often one to another. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord of the light and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serves God and him that serves him not. For behold, the day comes that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, but it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the sun of righteousness arise of healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember ye the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded to him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Ye shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Amen.